Hey guys, a long time no see. Actually, wait, I'm pretty sure by the time you're watching this video, I'm already back from my YouTube break. I am posting a video before this one because this video is going up on a Monday and I'm pretty sure I posted a video on Friday. It's so weird thinking ahead because right now I'm currently pre-recording this because I'm going out of town. So technically the week I took off, I really didn't take off. I was pre-recording for this week that we are currently on. The rest of this week we'll have pre-recorded videos, but I'm back. Even though I am pre-recording, I just want to thank you guys for giving me the time to just to refocus and to just like not stress so much. You guys know I had a biopsy done and I just wanted to take the week to chill. I got it on my boob and I wanted to take care of the wound. But like I was saying, even though I was pre-recording, I still felt very relaxed this week because I didn't have to edit for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday since I was taking that week off. So thank you guys for understanding me and for just letting me take off like pretty much two weeks. I needed it, but we are back to our regular scheduled programming. While you're watching this video, I'm currently on vacation for Danny's birthday. But when I come back from vacation, I plan on really putting a lot of effort into my channel. But we all need a break sometimes, and I just want to say thank you for allowing me to have one. So I love you guys. And yeah, today's video is actually going to be my April favorites. I'm going to be sharing with you all the products I was loving in April. And I have to be honest, since I'm pre-recording this video, it's not even the end of the month yet for me right now. And honestly, this week, the only time I've been wearing makeup is when I sat down to film a video. So for the entire week, I wasn't really wearing makeup. I only have a few favorites but these guys I really love and I've been enjoying them so yes let's get started so recently for eyeshadow I have been dabbling into the morphe 35r palette it's their newest palette that has a ton of browns and bronzes and golds and I've been loving that palette but I haven't been loving it enough for me to include it in a monthly favorites because I just recently got it and I've only played around with it a few times but when I haven't been using that one I have been using this one and I have I've, I love this this is the Dose of Colors Bake Browns Eyeshadow Palette. In my last monthly favorites video, I spoke... Was it my last one? Yes. Yes. I spoke about the LC Minimalist Palette, and I still love that. I use that all the time. But if I'm going to be honest, I have just been reaching for this one more. I just like to test out new products, and this one is my go-to at the moment. I love this, and I love this for similar reasons that I love the LC Minimalist Palette. I love that it's so sleek and compact because it's just so easy to travel with and you get a mirror and the palette is just so small and they're all colors that I would normally use anyway. They're all browns but they're all really useful. Like I use this one all the time underneath my brow bone. I have this color in my crease and then I have this pinky brown all over the lid. I love this pinky brown shade. I love pinky browns on the eyes. They're like my favorite. And then this one is awesome. It's a really deep reddish brown and then you have like the classic chocolate color that goes with everything. I actually have this color like smudged really close to my lashes to create kind of like a soft smudgy eyeliner. The only thing that sets this one apart from my LC one is that that one has a black. But this brown is so dark that I make it work. I don't really need a black in this palette, believe it or not. They also have a purple one called Marvelous Mauves, but of course I prefer the brown one. The only thing I I will say about this is that these eyeshadows are very very soft eyeshadows they're the kind that when you put your brush in a lot of kick up comes up they like with powder <laughs> but all you have to do is tap your brush off make sure that excess powder falls off the brush and then use it like that and they're just so pigmented even tapping off the brush you get so much pigment on the eyes I sit there and I blend these out and even when I apply too much where I feel like there's a harsh line I could always blend it out these are one of the easiest eyeshadows to blend but I did want to mention that because I know there are some people who don't like a soft eyeshadow but I don't mind it I really really love this palette my next favorite is a blush that I've had forever but I never really used it until a few weeks ago and I love this little thing. I guess I never really used it because it just reminds me of like a little eyeshadow. It's so small. But this is the Shea Moisture Mineral Blush in Peach Coral. I love how buildable this blush is. You guys know me. You know I don't like an intense blush. I don't, I think it looks so pretty on some people, but on me, it just doesn't look good. Like intense blush looks terrible on me. But I love that with this, you can get a really intense peach look to the cheeks or it can be really soft and natural and yeah you can say that about any blush all you have to do is build it up but some blushes are really pigmented right off the bat it just gives you the most beautiful soft peach look i love it it's so perfect for spring and it's also going to look really beautiful in the summertime with like really bronzy skin i love peach blush it's like my favorite blush color to wear i love the formula it's very soft but it is a matte blush and it looks matte on the face but it doesn't look drying or anything like that it's not like a cakey powdery blush i'm wearing this blush on my face today and i don't know if you can tell i applied very little but i like the look it gave me definitely try this out i picked this up at target i believe or was it ulta uh, I don't remember where I bought this, but I absolutely love it. Okay, my next product is really strange. I don't 
I don't, okay, let me explain. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but Dr. Brandt has a Pores No More Primer that I do really like. Even though I don't love those, I really like the Dr. Brandt one because sometimes my pores look a little crazy and I love putting that one like right here to really like fill them pose. But this one, this one is brand new and this is their Luminizer Primer and I don't know what it is about this, but I really like this primer. And it's the strangest thing because, okay, it comes out in like this champagne color and when you blend it out it really just blends out into nothing it has a very soft let me apply more it has a very soft luminous look to the skin like I don't know if you could even see that there it's very subtle but it is such a nice base for makeup I don't know what is in this but every time I apply this and I apply foundation on top no matter what foundation I'm putting on my skin just looks smoother versus like a regular luminizing primer and I don't know if this is supposed to fill in your pores I don't really notice it filling in the pores but I will say that when I put on my foundation on top my skin looks awesome my skin looks really smooth like I said I don't know I, I'm still trying to figure this guy out because I love the end result I love how my makeup looks like at the end when I use this but when I'm applying it to my skin initially it doesn't look like anything special but I don't know I feel like it kind of does magic a little bit or am I crazy I don't know I have been using this non-stop since I got it so that is why I wanted to mention it in this video whenever I've been using a primer this month it's been this Okay, so the next products I want to talk about are kind of like a combo I've been doing with these and I'll explain So this is like my little drugstore combo I've got going on when I want to look really glowy But not really glowy in my t-zone. <laughs> okay, so recently pixie sent me their hydrating milky mist And I had had this in the past but I finished it and then or at least I thought I finished it I don't know what I did with it But I hadn't used it in a while and when I saw they sent this to me I was like, oh my god Yes, I missed this so much and I haven't been doing this all month Obviously I haven't been wearing makeup all month, but I have been loving this to set my makeup and not setting it so that it could last longer but setting it so that it could look less powdery and just so it can give me a really youthful glow because this doesn't prolong the wear of your makeup I use other setting sprays for that and I have my Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist that I love a lot and that I use all the time but this one is actually very very similar and it's much much cheaper you can get these at the drugstore well Target I'm not sure where else they sell pixie and it says it's a youth preserving mist I love the mist on this it's so fine and a lot of it comes out, but it just like, look, like sets your skin perfectly. It takes away that powdery look while it gives you the most intense, beautiful, like J-Lo glow. And it does have like that milky consistency as you can see, but it doesn't leave like little dots on your face like that Marc Jacobs coconut one. That setting spray, no bueno. And every time I do this, I've just been using this right in my T-zone because when I set my entire face with this, I look really dewy. I mean, I apply a lot of this and I look really, really dewy. And even though I have a super dry T-zone, I don't necessarily want it to look oily, you know? And I feel like sometimes when you have like this part of your face, you know, your T-zone, when that part looks too dewy, it, it can look a little oily. So what I've been doing after I set my entire face with this, I fan it, I wait for it to dry, and once it's completely dry, I'll go in with my Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder, and this is waterproof and it's transparent. I love this because it is very mattifying, but it doesn't look flaky and dry on my skin, which I can really appreciate since my T-zone is already dry. I mean, once I put that Milky Mist on, it ain't dry anymore. But this mattifies it without it making it look dry, and I love that. I'll just get a little brush like this, tap it into the product. Not too much, but I'll get a little bit. And then I will just set these areas right here. Right here, right here, right here. And it's awesome because it will mattify that part, but the rest stays looking nice and dewy because of the mist. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that I've been doing that and I've been using this little combo to be super glowy, but not look oily, you know? So I really have been liking these. Okay, so my next favorite is this guy right here. If you hear construction, by the way, it's still going down out there. Lots of construction happening. I'm sorry for the noises, but this is my other favorite of the month. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Gel Highlighter in the shade Do You. These are their Dew Drops. And when I first tried this, I hated it. I absolutely hated it because the way I used it was I used it on top of my foundation. I tried to use this as a liquid highlighter and it looked 
terrible on my skin. I felt like it kind of moved the foundation underneath and it looked really weird and patchy once it set. Because the thing with this product is it is a liquid highlighter, but once it sets, it sets. It like doesn't move. But then I tried it mixed in with my foundation and I fell in love with it. I love mixing this in with my foundation. I cannot stop. I will not stop. I'm obsessed. Today I mixed it in with this foundation. I'm wearing this one on my face. This is the number seven lift and luminate foundation. You guys know I love this. And today I'm wearing this combo on my face and I love how this looks mixed in with foundation because it gives you such a beautiful glow but it doesn't make you look greasy or oily. It won't make a matte foundation feel really dewy and hydrating. All it's gonna do is give the foundation a like shimmer, kind of like a sheen, not like a glitter, but it has like a sheen to it and it's just gonna give your face an overall like subtle sheen like when you move your face. I love it because it's the perfect foundation mixer with luminous foundations, with matte foundations, with any. It's gonna give your skin a very subtle glow, but not like a wet, oily glow, like a natural sheen. Okay, so I have discovered a new eyeliner I really love. I have been putting these to the test for a couple of months now, and I love them. I don't love them as much as I love my Marc Jacobs eyeliners, like the matte ones. The shimmer ones are good, but the matte ones are my favorite. I don't love these as much, but I almost do. Which is nice, because these are drugstore. These are the NYX Faux Blacks and Faux White Eyeliners. I really like the Faux Whites, but I don't like them as much as I like the Faux Blacks. These are amazing. The difference is that these, like the Faux Whites, come in like really light colors, like pastel blue, pastel green, pastel pink. And then the Faux Blacks come in like darker colors, like a dark brown, a black. These two are different purple ones. I don't know where the rest of mine are, like the rest of my Faux Blacks. I have a few more and I don't know where they are. But I used this one in the shade Blackberry in my purple makeup tutorial that I posted not too long ago and I find it's really easy to apply it's really creamy you guys know I love the NYX Trajoli eyeliners but I think I really think they've changed them I just repurchased them and I feel like they're a little bit drier but as of right now these are hitting it out of the park for me these do not smudge they do not budge they last forever at least on my eyes they last forever I love them so much I highly recommend them they are amazing speaking of things that have been changing I recently tried the pure cosmetic sponge that I got in my boxycharm and I, I'm telling you, Pure changed their sponge. Pure had to have changed their sponge. Mine was so stiff, not bouncy and squishy like their original, not at all. Pure, what is that about? I don't know if you've changed it, but change it back, okay? That sponge was awesome and like my new one is like so stiff, I don't know. Anyway, so the last thing I wanted to talk about in today's video is this bad boy. Oh my gooch, oh my gooch. I love this, <laughs> I love this, okay. This is the NARS highlighting palette and it is called Bank de Sable. I know I can read the language. I don't know what that says. But it is their new highlighting palette and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I have been using this one and the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight a lot. I got that one in my BoxyCharm and ever since I got that Ofra highlight, I have been using it nonstop. But when I'm not using that one, I have been using this one. And to be fair, I've been using this one more this month. This is like beautiful. This is like everything. This is everything. It's that same formula that they have for their crap. What is it called? The dual, the dual intensity blushes. It's the exact same formula as those blushes where you can use these either wet or dry. I could just imagine how crazy these look when you wet them because using them dry, they are very intense. I've never even had to wet them. I have no desire to wet these highlights, but you absolutely can. It's not going to mess with the formula. And these colors are absolutely beautiful. My favorite is the one in the middle right here. It's like the most beautiful light peach highlight ever. The only one that is too dark for me is this one, but I've just been using this one as an eyeshadow all the time. I'm actually wearing this dusted on my lids today. I'm I'm wearing the Dose of Colors palette that's matte, but I took like a fluffy brush and just dusted this color like on the lids. I don't know if you can tell, but I mostly just dabble into these two shades. This one is so light, perfect for really, really fair skin. I'm wearing the one in the middle right here on my cheekbones today. And then I took this one right here and I popped it right here. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like more intense right here. I just wanted like a little pop right here. So I took this shade and Pop it right there. I don't feel like it emphasizes my texture. I don't think it looks too chunky or too glittery. I think it looks 
really pretty. It gives you a nice even sheen, such a beautiful glow that's so buildable. And I love everything about this palette. And this is something that is very pricey, but I personally think is worth the money if you are going to use all of the shades. And I find that I do use all of them. I find it so worth it. I love this highlighting palette. Okay, so that completes this video. These were products that I've been loving in the month of April. I just want to thank you guys again for being so patient during my YouTube break. I love you guys so much. Leave me a comment down below what you have been loving in April, your favorite makeup item this month, and maybe I'll check it out if I haven't. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. But I used this one in the shade, but I used this one in the shade back, but I used it. Porter. But I did want to mention, Porter, please. Absolutely can, it's not gonna, it, I was gonna say the F word, I'm sorry. Porter. No, none of that. Cruising down the freeway in the hot, hot sun. I will hit these areas in my T-zone. Dimelo cantando.